these guys and find homes. So, yeah, so I tell you that what, what happens behind closed doors or if you do not uh, spay and neuter cats. Uh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Listen to all the meowies. Hi. Hi, Uncle Jesse. So Julie, it's funny, it's not funny. Julie gets gets her beat up on two things. A, she doesn't take enough cats, or B, she adopts them out too too fast. Or, you know, she adopts them out. <clears throat> come on, come on, y'all. Even though we are a sanctuary, that that is not, um, when these cats come in, the fact that they're in a sanctuary, it's not cemented in stone because what if they become, what if they become handleable? Wouldn't it be awesome to see Drew in his very own home or Dumbledore in their very own home? Of course. Hey, Uncle Jesse. Excuse me, y'all. Hey, so you guys know that it's, it's almost springtime and the cats are getting amorous and sometimes their instincts start coming up, right? <clears throat> Yeah, some rescues call some rescues call us a warehouse for cats. I just want to say the big F U. Because first of all, first of all, if we're a warehouse for cats, then why why isn't your ass helping? Right? You be a warehouse then and you work with these guys and find homes. We are not a warehouse. We are a, a kind, loving, kick booty sanctuary with hopes of being a rescue with many of many of these cats. We are part of rescue. It's just that schnookums, if you're in rescue, you rely on those cats coming in and going out, coming in and going out. Well, guess what? With these cats, is that really bluey? You guys look at bluey down there. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I wonder if I walk down there if he walks away. Look at Uncle Jesse. Uncle Jesse, you having catitude today? But uh, if you're in rescue and you think that we are warehousing cats, I beg you to come here and adopt.